Let's take a look at the integral of 1 over 1 plus tangent x. And you might notice this kind of integral usually goes from 0 to pi over 4 or pi over 2 or whatsoever. But no, this is a definite integral that we are doing right now. Much harder here. Check this out. First off, let's do the usual thing, which is to write tangent x as sine x over cosine x. And then I'm just going to multiply the top and bottom by cosine x. So this right here is the same as integrating cosine x over cosine x and then plus sine x. And you can see the trouble is that, hmm, ah, I need to use a blue pen because use substitution doesn't work. And um, yeah, how exactly can we continue? So this is a very powerful technique called the star width. Wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, so this is not like a use substitution yet whatsoever. Use substitution right here doesn't work, but wouldn't it be nice if we can come up with some easier integral? Well, let's have a look. Imagine if we have the following. So let me just put on note. That's too hard. But if we have the integral of cosine x on the top over cosine x plus sine x. Sure, that's the same thing, right? But if the top right here also has plus sine x. Hmm. Much better. Why? Because this right here is just nicely equal to 1. Integrating 1, of course, you just get x. And I'm not going to put on a plus c yet because this is the integral that we're doing. This is just like an intermediate step. Okay. Is there another integral that's just as nice as this? Yes. And the integral is going to be, okay, we'll still keep the same denominator, cosine x plus sine x. And imagine if we differentiate the denominator, we will get negative sine x plus cosine x. And this right here is going to be really good as well because we can just do u sub, let u equal the bottom, and you will just get ln. And let's see, okay, uh, they can be negative. So put the absolute value and we will have the cosine x plus sine x. Good. Do you guys see it? Hopefully you guys do. Because once we have this, once we have that, check this out. Let's just go ahead and add these two integrals together. What's happening? Well, you see that we have sine x here, and this is a negative sine x here. When we add them out, of course, they cancel. So this plus that, we get the integral, and we have cosine x plus another cosine x, which is 2 cosine x, and then over the same denominator, which is cosine x plus sine x, and then dx. And of course, on the right-hand side, we'll just add out the answers, which is x plus ln absolute value of cosine x plus sine x. All right, so maybe we can put on the plus c, but not yet. Why? Because this integral is just cosine x, but here we have a 2. It's okay, don't worry, let's multiply everybody by 1 half. So, ladies and gentlemen, this times that, we get exactly what we want, which is the integral. Why is this always good? No, I want to put that one. Integral of cosine x over cosine x plus sine x dx and of course let's just multiply everybody by one half so we have one half x plus one half ln absolute value of cosine x plus sine x and guess what yeah that's it that's it that's it that's it we're done so put on plus c so that's the answer very cool right in fact i did this eight years ago and i just watched my old video the original black pen red pen and then i feel wow it's been eight years so i just want to do this again on my new channel just calculus and hopefully you guys all have a good start for your new year and a good start for your new semester and uh let me know how you guys are doing how's your new year going so far i wish you guys all the best and as always that's it